I'm Fat32 here once again with a video for you all again. Now, I guess this is my 150th video, apparently. But anyway, IBM ThinkPad R51 was wondering if a Core 2 Duo is better than a Xeon. Well, yes and no. You see, a Core 2 Duo, they're cheaper, they perform about the same, and they take non-ECC memory, which is cheaper and more common. So there's that. The Xeon costs costs twice as much, if not more. Draws more power, heats up more, and takes ECC RAM, which is harder to come by and costs much more even though I have a whole pile of it, but still not as easy to come across. Oh. Uh, but some advantages to the Xeon is you can have dual Xeon systems. Uh, they have faster front side buses at times. Sometimes there's faster core twos. Plenty of faster Xeons too. You'll notice they both use the exact same socket and CPU. Looks just like the same socket the Core 2s use. In fact, the Core 2 fits in there and works in this computer. But anyway. You see, this is just more consumer friendly than Core 2. It's clocked faster. Uh, this is a 2.8 or something like that. I don't know. You'll notice. The heatsink needs some thermal compound. That's really not good, but smaller heatsink. It's kind of crappy, actually. It needs a better heatsink. I have to get one of those one of these days, but come on, you. Yeah. Um, these are generally more common, but these, you can have a dual Xeon system. If you have the right configuration of the dual Xeon, you can get up to 8 gigahertz and 1 gigahertz front side bus. This, no. Well, the fastest RAM or ECC RAM you can get is 800 megahertz DDR2. Uh, fastest RAM you can get for this is uh, 1066 megahertz, megahertz DDR2. Might have some right here. No, that might be 800 megahertz. And the PC 2300. Nope. I don't even know. Anyway, yeah. This is DDR2 800. I think it's the fastest you can get for your ECC. Non ECC, you can go faster. Anyway, the PCI bus on here, you'll notice it has. Three things in the middle in the PCIe 16x slot. On this PCIe 16x slot, you got one. So, a standard. PCIe 16x card can actually fit in it. You'll notice that my PCIe card fits in here perfectly fine. Of course, motherboard's kind of a flat surface. You'll notice it goes in there, though. And on here, that's not going to fit. Because there's those other uh, things in the slot. So, obviously, you can't have PCIe 16x graphics card in there. Yes, this is a server. Now, one other thing about Core 2. Since they are consumer machines, they are built with lower quality components. This is a standard motherboard. Uh, only two RAM slots, which kind of sucks. Uh, yeah. This board kind of is a piece of crap, but it works. But yeah, lower quality components. See, it still has electrolytics on the 
main voltage regulator side, but it does have some solid caps under the heatsink, which is really good because you don't want electrolytics there because they will overheat if they're underneath the heatsink and then they pop. But the rest of the board, other than there, uses all electrolytics. You'll notice this board. Well, I guess it's the same way, but see all solid state around the socket. The heatsink is but electrolytics everywhere else. But these are higher quality electrolytics, not the cheap ones like there is on that board. Just bent the socket. But yeah. Oops. I didn't have that bolted down. I tried to pick it up. Another thing about Core 2. You'll notice a full variety of I.O. on this board. Yeah, I know it's got a missing, couple missing screws, but I have tons. This is PS2, Parallel, Serial, VGA, four USB ports, LAN, and sound. This is VGA, Serial, USB, and LAN. No sound, no parallel, no PS2. Yeah. Yeah, just not as much I.O. built in. I mean, I don't know where I was going with that, but anyway, this will not last as long as this will. But this will perform better in the time that it is around. I guess. So yeah. they actually have about the same for um, expandability for SATA and one IDE channel. That's one floppy. Uh, that's one has four SATA, one IDE. There's the floppy connector down there. Um, that's ATI ES1000 graphics, which suck. This has probably Intel graphics, which suck more, but. Like I said, ew, that didn't sound good. I got a graphics card in here. Uh, this will draw way more power as well. This won't draw as much, but it will still draw power enough. Anyway, I would actually like to use a case for this board, but it's BTX, not ATX. Yeah, and that really sucks, but oh well. I guess you can't have everything. I could probably, you no. Know, I was just thinking if I could use this power supply in another case, then I could power that board. Because it's not this one, but the other one has a dead uh, PCIe bus controller, so. I could just rob its power supply and put another case to power that. But I don't know if I'll do that. And by the way, yeah, I put the Core 2 Duo back in here. I'll just quickly put the Xeon back in here. Oh, whoops, I didn't want that to happen. Oh. That was a fail. I didn't bend a pin, did I? No, oh, I don't know why this isn't going in. There. Camera stopped, but anyway. Yeah. That's why it's better. This will give you more performance for a better price. That's just all there is. RAM's easier to come by. CPUs are easier to come by. Heat sinks are easier to come by. In a way, overall, the Core 2 Duos are just 
better than the Xeon for consumer use. Xeon's better for servers. But I mean, this isn't a server or a workstation. It's just a computer. So yeah, that's basically it. So thanks for watching and for your Feel free to leave a comment if you have one.